Welcome to New Home Tube. My name's Paul Straub with United Realty. Today we're here at the Las Olas Art Show. For this recurring event, let's go take a look and see what we've got here. Oh, so the doctor told you you could have one glass of wine and that's what you chose, huh? <laughs> For every uh, 40 glass floors, there's one person who does casting. So this is my own technique that took about a year to develop. And there's 360 pieces of glass arranged, and then it's melted in the kiln for four days, and then extensively ground and polished. And feel free to touch it. We say with glass, you look with your hands. No, it feels good. You can feel the textures smooth. On the soft. And then that's all ground with diamond polishing equipment, oh, yeah. and then it. polished to a I took this to a semi-matte surface, and each piece we take to a different surface, and we call that framing the piece or giving its character. And it's different from all every, Oh yeah. It's, all the other glass guys are doing pretty much all the same. There's nothing like this. Is very different. It looks like rock, but it's all glass. That's no. glass too, but yes. really, it looks like a piece of coral. It's my own technique. I'm the only one I know of who does that. Oh, wow. It's a long really process good. to develop. Yeah. And if somebody but wants your glass. work, how do they get a hold of you? Verbeekglass.com. I want to have my. Uh... I remember, if you need a new vehicle. Well, here we are at Monkey See, Monkey Do. <laughs> yeah, you don't look like them, though. Bronze is one of my favorite mediums, and I just love these little monkeys. Wood? I would have never guessed that. I thought it was metal. A sculpture glass with a little bit of stainless steel to go with it. It's a mixed media, so it can go indoor throughout. Everything is good for the weather. It won't hurt it to be outside. And then we got some smaller pieces here that you can put on a tabletop, countertop. So it kind of covers all ends, you know, outdoors, poolside, inside. It's awesome. Thank you. The hat. Oh, oh my God. I got the hat too. Well, uh, you don't have lights, do you? And if people are interested in your work, hey. you um, RomanArt.com. Contact me. Got Roman, it. Roman, how do you spell it? R U H L M A N. Got it. A R T. Got it. Thank you. Got it. What's your name? Julia Garcia. Julia Garcia. Now, this, I've seen work where they're doing it on aluminum, but yours isn't that. No, this, 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 is, is this is canvas. This is canvas. This is actual canvas. It looks like it's illuminated, and you've captured that on canvas. Yes. Well, I try to make my colors very um, shiny, very vibrant, so like... Like, let's say, well, my focus on this one was the yellow and the reds, and then everything else captures it so it makes it pop, you know? And then I also give it a little bit of white tone, so, like, everything that's on the bottom, it can look Here, let's go in here and see a little bit more of this. <laughs> this is really pretty, too. Um, yes, this is uh, called the meditation, and basically... Um, my focus on this was the color combination and basically in meditation they talk about the different colors that represent different parts of your body. So basically it's just um, it's symbolizing a person, you know, the legs, the chest area. And everything is separated in your body. You know? It's like a Picasso. I'll take it as a And if people are interested in your work, how do they get a hold of you? Facebook. Of course I do. Julia Garcia. Yeah. I, I know you. Beautiful work. Thank you. This is the process that I was doing with this right here. But then I realized that this natural slice right here just lent itself perfectly to the bough of a tree. And so I incorporated that into uh, this tree right here, which is obviously a cypress tree, but it's the same profile of the piece, you know, lends itself to a bonsai tree as well. And if anyone's interested in your work, how do they uh, get a hold of you? Come on out to the Las Olas Art Festival, and you can also reach me at uh, 
mevans267 at cox.net. Great. I love your work. <coughs> now, this is some interesting work. This is different than what we've seen today. You're the artist? I am. Well, what's your name? Uh, H. Allen Benowitz. Wow, what a great name. And tell us a little bit about your work in your medium. Well, I consider myself a cultural photographer. I do adventure travel, landscape, wildlife, and people. Now, you've got a write-up, and you're what in the Louvre with the cigar lady, huh? Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, there was an international competition of 391,000 entries, and uh, Cigar Lady made it in the top 300. It was published in their international portraiture book, and uh, it was the Exposure Awards. And um, the pictures that were in the top 300... Uh, were displayed at the Louvre in Paris, July 13th and 19th, uh, 2015. And Cigar Lady was uh, number 50. Really? And how did you get that shot? Well, I was in uh, Old Havana, in the Citadel Square. Oh, so this, that's a Cuban cigar. The, the best in the world. <laughs> and uh, she was napping, and I came up upon her, and I kneeled down to accentuate the size of the cigar, which did not need accentualizing. Yeah, right. And as I took the picture, her eyes opened, sensing my presence. Uh -huh. and so I consider it a candid shot. That's right. And she's my most popular piece. Beautiful piece. Thank you. And, um, what you're looking at mostly are acrylic mounted uh, photographs. I, I don't use Photoshop. And um, they're uh, acid free pigment ink. Uh, Prints, all original prints, and uh, they've taken. A this tent represents pictures from ten different countries. And how do people get a hold of you if they're interested in your work? Well, they can uh, go on my website, which is uh, h allen a l l e n art dot com, or they can call me at 305-586-1181. Thank you so much for your time. I love your work. It's very unique. And I think everyone should have a, one of your pieces in their home. This is some really beautiful work here. This is ceramic? Or? Yes, it's all ceramic. Tell us a little bit about it. It's clay. They're all hand-built. And we've got a, a pieces of textures that okay. are carvings. Okay. And all separate little pieces of clay. Oh, really? This is a separate. This is a separate. All of them go into a piece. It's like a mosaic. And I put it together. Really? That's so, and very the, interesting. The colors are... Coloring to be clay, plus under glazes and glazes, so it's various things. It's beautiful work, and I can see that it's very interesting. Thank you. And what's your name again? Gail Markowitz. Gail Paul Strauber. And how do people get a hold of you if they're interested in your pieces? Uh, Call me at 203-988-2020, and I do shows. Check out my website, gmceramicart.com. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Beautiful work. Thank you. And you're the artist that yes. did this? Uh, my name is Evan Reinheimer. I'm a photographer from New York, and I use a technique called kite aerial photography, in which I use a kite to lift my camera up into the air. Primitive so, drone work. Yes, old school <laughs> drone. And um, so literally I stand on the ground and fly a kite to the air and then attach my camera to the kite line. And I use that to lift the camera up and that's how every single photograph here was taken. Wow. And it looks like you're going all over the world with this kite. Yeah. Huh? Very cool. And what's your medium? Photography. And these are printed onto metal using a dye sublimation process. And how do people get a hold of you? Uh, EvanReinheimer.com. Very cool. Thanks for your time, Evan. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, my name is Michael. Uh, these are all beach photos printed on canvas. Yep. Bahamas. And these are photos on canvas. Very cool. And how do people get a hold of your work if they'd like it? Uh, com. Great. Thanks for your time. Give me a card. What's your name, sir? Robert Stein. And what is the media here? Uh, we do mixed media. It's a combination of uh, photography, digital painting, and acrylic painting. It's really 3D, to say the least. <laughs> and if somebody wants to get a hold of your work? Um, Stein Photo Media on Facebook. 
Yeah. On Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook I've been talking yeah. to. That's the way to go. It's really cool. And what is it, wood? Yeah, these are wood, uh, mixed media on wood panels. Yeah, everything is custom, original work. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Brian Lepatty. What this is, is uh, it's actually called ground here. What it is, is a sheet of aluminum that is uh, carved with an angle grinder. And then it is actually uh, painted uh, with an airbrush or other techniques to apply the paint to the aluminum. And uh, you clear coat it. And then you've got to uh, wet sand it, buff it, and polish it to get that nice shine. And it creates a prismatic effect. So it sure does. That's how you get that, uh, that movement, that 3D effect after you, uh, you finish with it. It looks like a TV screen. And how do people get a hold of your art if they want it? Uh, I'm on Facebook. Just uh, put in the search engine Brian Lopati. B R Y A N. L O P A T I C. Great. Thanks a lot, Brian. All right. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the last Solis Art Show. My name's Paul Straub with New Home Tube. And remember, whether you're buying or selling, having the right realtor makes all the difference in the world. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the little like or share button. I really would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.